Hello, it's Jim from JetsonMax.com. On today's show, we are going to cover auto mounting drives at startup on the NVIDIA Jetson Nano Developer Kit. Let's get started. In our previous episode about installing swap files, I mentioned that you may have to auto mount a drive. I thought I'd cover that a little bit more today. For today's demonstration, we have a USB SSD drive attached to the Nano. Let's take a look at it. It's this 500 gigabyte disk. It's a Samsung T5. We can see where it's mounted and its device name and its UUID. There's a file in slash etc called fstab and fstab automatically mounts partitions at startup. We will need most of this information to build our fstab entry. I've created a convenience script to help us with that task. On the Jetson Hacks Nano account on GitHub, there is a repository named install swap file. It's the same repository we used previously, but you will need to update it for the auto mount script. Let's grab the address of the repository. Now let's clone it. and we'll switch over to that repository's directory. Let's take a look at the usage here. Okay, let's auto mount this. This script basically takes the label of the partition that we want to mount. In this case, we want to use Racer 500 and it will look up all of these things for us and build an entry. Let's do that. called Racer 500. Okay, so it went and looked up all those things for us. It should be the same as over here. It is. The next thing that it does is it builds up the fstab entry. So UUID, the path, and then these are mounting options. So then there's a question. Would you like to add this entry? Yes, please. So now we can examine the fstab file and we can see the entry here. While we're here, let's put a swap file on it. We'll pass it the directory. Let's make sure there's no slash at the end. Okay, so it built the swap file. And you can see here in our system monitor, swap is enabled. Let's reboot the system. Make sure our changes are persistent. This will take a minute. Okay, let's open up our system monitor. And you can see that our swap is still active. The auto mount trick is pretty useful in other situations also. It allows you to mount your partitions and make sure that they're ready right after the system boots. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.